Hi, I'm Keith and welcome to my channel Attack From Down Under. Today's video I'm going to be talking about album titles, awesome album titles and this was a thread that was started by Metal Mickey on his channel. Um, I'm actually going to be talking about uh, showing uh, 10 albums and, oh sorry, 9 albums and one song title. Uh, but first, just a bit of channel um, business. Um, massive shout out to Simon on the, the Pie Face channel. Uh, the other day, he uh, gave me a massive shout out on, on his channel. Um, he um, plugged one of my videos and um, talk, talked about my channel. And really, really appreciated that. that. Um, Simon's had a bit of a leave of absence from YouTube video making for a while, and uh, he just did a a, a, a video. And um, thank you to a lot of people who um, w wished him well, and w we're happy to see him back. So really likable guy. If you check out his channel, uh, just one of those guys you you warm to pretty quickly when you watch his videos so I'll leave a link below for that and um, yeah good to have you back Simon and really appreciated uh, you mentioning my little channel uh, so uh, today's topic uh, so it's, this is the, another response to a, another th thread because I, I did another video a few videos back for a thread for Metal Mickey's channel, uh, but I jumped the gun too too quickly with that one, and I was the only one that made a video in the end. Um, so to avoid that sort of um, d debacle, what I decided to do this one is to jump on one of his threads after everyone's done it. So it's been up for a month. Everyone's done a video of this this um, thread, so I'm doing a late video. Um, so the, the topic is 10 awesome album titles, very, very easy topic, uh, just show 10 albums with your favourite titles on, albums that you really like the, the name of, um, just titles you love. So okay, um, the first one, uh, this is the album from the Pogues, and it's the title I like is for this is Rum, Rum, Sodomy and the Lash. So that's from their 1985 album. And they're an Irish, like, folk, punk, rock band, I guess you'd say. And the, the actual title comes from a quote from uh, Winston Churchill. That Rum, Sodomy title. Uh, so this, this cover artwork here, uh, this is from an old French painting. And the painting's called The Raft of Medusa. And what they've done is just painted in the, the band members' faces on, on these people. Uh, Looks like they're running into trouble on the sea on this old painting. And if you sort of are also a fan of the German uh, funeral doom metal band called Ahab, uh, you might recognise this picture, it's on one of their albums as well. It's on their second album, uh, and the album is called The Divinity of Oceans. Uh, so, num number one awesome album titles. Number one is Run, Sodomy and, and the Lash, or even that, uh, you could put, take that Ahab title for that album, which is The Divinity of Oceans, that's a good one too. Okay, so that's number one. Uh, number two, uh, the band is called uh, Tripping Daisy, and the album is called I Am an Elastic Firecracker. Uh, so this album was released in 1995, um, and, and the, the big song on here was uh, the number, number track number three, I Got a Girl, you might know that one. That got quite a lot of airplay. Um, so 
I don't know why I like this album title. It just appeals to me that, you know, the, the wording, I'm an elastic firecracker. So there you go, number two. Uh, number three uh, from the band Sanctuary and the album, album title is In the Mirror Black. So this is from their 1990 album. Uh, that's it there. Um, so finding these album titles that I liked, I was following a bit of a theme. I seem to like the titles with three or four words in them. And so, yeah, just the title of that one, Into the Mirror Black, uh, I liked that one. And really good album. Uh, next one, um, that's a, some of the CDs. Um, uh, next one is Greta Van Fleet, and the album title is Anthem for a Peaceful Army. So this is a 2018 album from this American um, rock band. Uh, so I like it because it's not a like militaristic title, uh, you know, glorifying war or something like that. Pro War sort of title. Uh, it's just a anthem for an army in peacetime. So a bit different. And this actual album was uh, nominated for a uh, Kerrang Award uh, for Best Album back then. Little fact for you. <laughs> yeah, this, this next one's got a notorious cover. And I just think it's one of those titles that just totally... Um, appropriate to the album and uh yeah uh poison look what the cat dragged in you know just so appropriate and uh you know just funny that the, you know poison the glam metal band put this out in 1986 not sure what they were, they were thinking um dressed in like heavy makeup and just totally glammed out uh, and if you know, just like when you read on the back uh, Ricky Rocket he's responsible for drumsticks tricks and lipstick fix <laughs> and another guy on his credits a guitarist saying he's, he's in charge of the hair bleaching or something <laughs> yeah I don't know uh, yeah, so look what the, the cat dragged in is a, is a fair title for, for these guys. Uh, it's actually not a bad glam album. Uh, it had three um, successful singles on it as well. So that was my number five, look what the cat dragged in. Uh, yeah, um, this next one. Uh, okay. <laughs> I'll just show you it. And um, this name of the artist is Screaming Jay Hawkins. And the title of it is Black Music for White People. Uh, just some of these titles, um, yeah. Uh, they're, not, they're not just ones I, th I think are, are just great words or put together, but just things that might amuse me or, you know, I think are good. Um, so... This Black Music for White People album, it's crazy as hell. Uh, it's been described as as music, as Halloween music, but it's got rock, it's got blues, and I sort of guess the title is just a bit of a dig on um, white musicians who always steal songs from black musicians who rap, you know, you know, um, stealing blues and... Yeah, all, all sorts of their, their music and appropriating it. Um, so he's doing an album and he's selling it directly to white people. <laughs> Love the cover. Here's the back. So I picked up this CD before it uh, disappeared. It's a very hard one to sort of track down now. I don't know, I don't think it's because of the title. I think there was like a, a, a massive copyright 
uh, issue between Tom Waits and Screaming Jay Hawkins. It's getting hot in here. Uh, it's over, over the use of just w one song on here, um, they used um, Tom Waits' song. He uses Tom Waits' song um, on there called Heart Attack and Vine. I don't know if you can see that, very small print on this album. Uh, it was also used on a, a Le Levi's advert. Uh, not sure if you, you might remember uh, back in the day, Levi's used to do those adverts. And uh, I think the first one was they played that Marvin Gaye song. I heard it through the grapevine, advertising Levi's. And the guy was taking off his clothes and he was, he was throwing them in the washing machine um, while they're playing that song, um, just an advertisement for Levi's. So they used a song off here on that. And it's quite popular. So you, you might know that. Uh, called Heart Attack of Vine. Um, so if you're if you're interested to hear some of the music, probably the the one the songs to start off with is that cover that Tom Waits song, Heart Attack and Vine. Listen to that. Um, and there's a really hilarious sort of uh, comedy lyrics song called Ignant Ignant and Shit. Ignant spelled I G N A N T. And shit, listen to so listen to that heart attack and vine song in that ignorant and shit that'll have you laughing. Um, so yeah, that's uh, number six, Screaming Jay Hawkins, Black Music for White People. Just title, uh, just titles I, I like um, for that one. Right, uh, so going from Screaming Jay. Uh, there's lots of screamings on this next album from the Pantera frontman Phil Asomo. And if you know his history, you couldn't be a more different artist than... Pick a more different artist from Screaming Jay than this guy. Uh, so the, the title of this Pantera album, Pantera album is The Great Southern Trend Kill. And I guess from the title, he's sort of going against PC trends, politically correct trends and trend killing, um, I guess in the title. Uh, I like the title and uh, so on, the, on actually on this tour, um, he was famously pronounced dead for over four minutes after he had an overdose in a show in, in Dallas. And then um, he played the next show. So, yeah, there we go. Number seven, and the title is The Great Southern Trend Kill from Pantera. Okay, next one, number eight. And this is the one I was saying I've got uh, nine album titles, one song title, and the title of the song is this one here, um, PM Dawn is the name of the group and the title is Set Adrift on Memory B Bliss. So this is a song like I was saying, not an album from the American group PM Dawn, this came out in 1991 and I like the title as it makes sort of makes me think of the feeling you get when you sort of relive a, a really good memory, you know, take you back to the moment of that, that time and um, yeah, just adrift on, a, on that memory bliss there. Um, so it's very relaxing, sort of calm song on this and it uses part, it works, the, the whole song is worked around an, an older song by the group um, Human League, I think it's the true song. There you go, number eight. Uh, number nine, and this album is from the group The Mars Volta. And the title of the album is Deloused in the Comatorium. Uh, it's kind of a 
concept album that was released in 2003. Um, so it's the title is based on a short story written by the um, singer, uh, lead singer Cedric Bixter Zavala, and um, it's sort. The story is sort of about a man who enters a week long coma after overdosing on a mixture of um, morphine and um, rat poison. Uh, so that's sort of where the, the weird title comes from, but I just thought it was a bit out there and liked it. Um, so number nine, awesome album titles, D. Laust in the Comatorium. There we go. And we're down to number 10. Uh, and the name of the band is Clutch. And the album title is Sunrise on Slaughter Beach. Great, great album title. Really uh, like that title. Um, so this is the 13th album by the underrated rock band. Uh, it came out in 2022. And it's just sort of dirty, sludgy rock music. Um, really cool title on this. Like I was saying. And yeah, great artwork. There. Uh, so good little package here. The, the only thing that really bothered me is I, I think they pressed this privately, and the actual record when I was trying to take it out of, on the out of the inlay, it was it was almost like it was um, stuck in the inlay on on with glue. You just could not get it out. I ended up having to just rip the inlay. Just to um, get the record out to play it, it was it was that stuck onto it. Um, so yeah, that, that's just um, yeah, bummed me out a bit when I got that. Right, okay, so that's my response to um, metal another metal Mickey thread. Um, hopefully, I'll be last. That's what I was going for to be last. And um, there's lots of videos for this thread out there. If you uh, uh, liked it and um, want to watch more of this type of thing. Um, so yeah, thank you for doing that thread, um, Mike, and um, thank you for watching my video. I hope I was brief. I hope I was brief. And so thanks, and I'll see you in, in my next video.